I thought I'd do a video where I talk about children's gas masks, or more historic children's gas masks, because they always are a bit weird and creepy. Um, I know when I did my scariest or top 10 scariest gas mask video, I did a poll on it, like, what uh, gas masks are the scariest, and I think something like 70 plus percent of people said children's gas masks are always creepy. Um, I think that's partly because people envision a little child uh, wearing a creepy gas mask like this as well. So this is the British Mickey Mouse gas mask, it has absolutely nothing to do with Mickey Mouse. They just named it that because they thought if they called it Mickey Mouse and they made it bright colours, kids would want to wear it. I don't know if that logic really works. Um, as many of you know, I've talked about the American Mickey Mouse mask before, which is a very rare and valuable mask, but um, it's you know probably the creepiest gas mask ever made because they got um, Walt Disney's permission, I think he helped partially design it, to um, you know design a gas mask which would be like Mickey Mouse so kids would want to wear it. So it ended up kind of being this really creepy Mickey Mouse mask, um, like an actual literal Mickey Mouse mask. But the rubbers were slightly off coloured as well, even if you look at the historical photos of it. And, um, you know, it didn't quite sit right. It's the very Uncanny Valley type thing. So um, this is uh, the British Mickey Mouse mask. As I said, it's just bright colours so kids would want to wear it. Uh, this one's Avon from 1939, it says in there. Um, but I've also got a Soviet children's gas mask, which is the PDFD, and I think the D at the end stands for like preschool or something like that, because they made a few variants of this, so I might try and get some more, because they're sort of interesting, and there's a few variants around of it. Uh, this is a later model one, because it has plastic on it, so let me just get it out. Right, so... This is the PDFD. Um, so you've got like this rubber mask. It reminds me a lot um, of the sort of GP7, this type of design, and the PMK. To be fair, it's probably a better mask than a GP7 or PMK, which isn't saying much, but it's got the same awkward head strap on it. Um, but you know, it's that sort of design like this. So why does it have the hose on it? The idea is that they think little kids wouldn't be strong enough to hold up a big filter on their head. So the idea is that you have this knapsack with a filter in, I don't have a GP5 filter in there at the moment, but you'd have the, you know, filter in there, and then you could have the mask on, and the hose, you know, attaches to the filter so the kids can support the weight of their filter off of their shoulders or, you know, wherever, rather than, you know, having it directly on the thing. So the hose is sort of interesting on this. It's basically the sort of normal Gost hose, except for one end is clamped to the mask rather than it being screw-on. And I'm assuming that's so the kids had less ways they could take something off and lose it with the mask. So you have this weird kind of mosquito looking ooh, uh, mask. I was saying there's the plastic on this one with the exhale valve cover. Um, but the normal uh, earlier version had like a metal thing on the side that looks even weirder. Um, sort of remind me a bit of elephants these masks, especially in the grey. These came in a few colours as well, but I find these creepy, but... You know, I find in some ways they're less creepy in black because with a lot of these masks, I think it's when they've thought about it too much and tried to make them too child friendly that they end up looking a bit creepier. Um, so yeah, like I'm saying with these, I'm I'm sure you can imagine if they did a PDFD in red and blue and green, you know, of this mask, and then just had it in mismatching colours, it would look a bit weirder and creepier. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's more kids' masks out there. You can find a load of pictures from online, but these are the only two I have. What is weird is, I was looking at some Yugoslavian gas masks, and the Yugoslavian army used the um, M1 gas mask, which is an M9 clone. I think it's also called the M59, um, or M61, whatever it was called. But um, I think it was M59. But the uh, issue with that was, you know, it's an M9, M9's a great mask, the Yugoslav one was a lower quality one than most of the M9's. But they had a children's mask that looked actually better than the adults' ones. It was um, one that had, like, the big full-face visor like that, um, like, panoramic view lens. It looked more like a modern military mask, but apparently it was a children's mask, so I don't know why they put more effort into those than the, um, you know, M9 clones. But uh, it's a bit of rambling now, but yeah. So, creepy children's masks, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them about, you can find them quite often. With a lot of nations, what they did, this is what the Russians did, this is what the British did with the um, World War II ones, is you'd um, have a children's mask of one design, and then when the children were old enough, you'd give them the adult's mask, just in a very small size. So, often you'll see some kids wearing the adult's mask that are just scaled down a bit, others wearing the actual children's mask. 
I think the only reason they ended up making the weird designs was they wanted something that was more kid friendly, but I don't really see how this is, you know, kid friendly, but there you go. So there's some children's gas masks for you.